Assalamualaikum everyone and today we are gonna watch a video of core curriculum management and I hope you guys stay healthy and stay safe at home. So for today we are gonna watching a video about teachers challenges in implementing core curricular activity at school. I would like to introduce my group member which is including myself uh, which is Umi Rwaida from Major ELT 830952 and myself Faisal Hakim from Saint Major ELT 831086. Introduction What is core curricular activity? Core curricular activity are designed to supplement student learning and help students develop key life skills which is which encompasses all the knowledge, skills, norms, values, cultural elements and beliefs to help develop a student fully with respect to physical, spiritual, mental and emotional aspect as well as to in and develop desirable moral values. Me and my partner, Umi Rwaida, did an interview session with GPK, Guru Penangkanan, which is core curricular senior assistant, Fuad No Asikim with Dr. Abdul Rahman from Sekolah Menengah Kebasaan Perempuan Methodist in Rao Pahang. This interview was done to find out the challenges of teacher in managing core curricular activity in schools. Teacher's challenge. There are five types of teacher's challenges, which is student interest, teacher lack of core curricular knowledge, online activity, lack of school facility and internet coverage. Point number one, which is students' interest. Based on the interview with core curricular senior assistant, she mentioned that nowadays students in the era of modern technology hardly to get involved with core curricular activity as nowadays they like to play with the gadget. They have been introduced to online learning methods by using smartphones which is make them hardly involved in the activities. They easily get distracted as modern technology can bring them more fun than physical meeting. Based on No Suhara and Jamil 2010, as cited in Ong et al. 2021, the authors mentioned in the article by stating that core curriculum management should allow students to choose the core curricular activities that they wanted to participate in, which increases their commitment to core curricular involvement. Students will receive self-satisfaction as a result of their participation in activities of interest, and the outcomes of their participation will become more significant. This indicate that they are willing to devote more time and more committed to the activities in which they want to participate. When the students are interested in an activity that they want, they are more likely to participate in it. Point number two, which is teachers' lack of core curricular knowledge. Based on the interview with GBK, core curricular senior assistant, she mentioned that teachers that have been assigned to do the task of core curricular activities, some of them do not have an experience of handling the core curricular activities. They get stuck to continue the activities as it gives them difficulties. They need to search on the internet to find which activities by themselves and this bring another burden for them to complete the job. According to Mamad Jaflus 2013, as cited in Rosli Talib et al. 2021, the authors mentioned in the article that core curriculum management courses are rarely offered to instructors, but to novice or inexperienced teacher who lack the information and abilities needed to carry out core curricular activities. This circumstance has led to the failure of the Internal Human Capital Development core curriculum such as inability to adjust and differentiate the use of soft and hard voice commands, forcing to be respected, carrying out a lot of theoretical teaching activity that should be take place in the classroom, and assigning too many objectives which leads to confusion among club and association members. Nice online activities. For about two years of PKP gives some difficulties to the student. During this time, all schools have to use online learning method for teaching and learning process. Therefore, students and teachers need to use technology such as smartphone and internet. According to Dr. Mazuki Mahmoud Yassin in his article in 2021, a new era in education was set in by the COVID-19 outbreak. However, each of these challenges is the justification for postponing the implementation of core curricular activities during the PDPR season. Next, lack of school facilities. According to Puan Ashikim, she said that they had no proper field of their own. So, if they need to use the field for something, they must borrow it from another school. Therefore, with the lack of facilities, it is challenging for them as they have limitation to do activities with the student. Based on article written by No Azam Shah et al. in 2017, a major problem that affects most schools still exists is the inability to provide enough supplies. The result of these challenges will affect a programs and an activity success within the curriculum of the school. Next, internet coverage. According to Pano Ashikim, she mentioned that some of her students have faced bad internet coverage as they live in rural places where internet coverage is not accessible for them. Therefore, students are unable to do ritual activities together, such as quizzes, which make them left behind in the class. 
According to Assemblyman Dennis Ngau, in 2020, in the article of Borneo Post Online, rural students are at risk of being left behind in the national education system during the movement control order, where rural students experience disadvantages during exam time compared to urban students. According to the Matthew Lynch in 2017, lack of internet access can have a number of negative implications on the student abilities to function academically. In conclusion, co-curricular activities are activities that students engage in to improve their life skills which may be carried out alone or in groups, within or outside of the classroom. They can foster a student's entire personality development as well as their emotional and social growth. As a result, extracurricular activities are quite important.